What's up everybody, what's good, and what's bracken? My name is Richard Scherzer, and today I'll be reviewing Walt Disney's 2022 remake, live action remake with some CGI, Pinocchio. Now I know, again I'm late to the party, and this movie has gotten a lot of hate, with about a 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, I really do not agree with the hate, and today I'm going to explain to you why I don't agree with it. But first, let's start off with what this movie is about and what's up. So it's about this young boy, well, young puppet, who is brought to life by uh, a Geppetto, uh, specifically Tom Hanks in a wig and mustache, and who is a woodcarver. And Geppetto longs to have his son come back, or at least misses his son, and apparently wishes to have his the, so, the soul of his son implanted into this puppet, <laughs> which <laughs> is basically what happens if you watch the whole thing. They, in this incarnation of Disney, they they added the uh, uh, Geppetto losing his son. Um. So, in any ways, his wish is granted, and Pinocchio, as he's called, comes to life. And the Blue Fairy, honestly played brilliantly by Cynthia Erivo, tells Pinocchio he must be truthful, unselfish, and brave if he wants to become a truly real boy. And he goes off to school, or attempts to go off to school, but is intercepted by a fox and a cat. Oh well, he goes to school, but is actually kicked out. And he becomes famous, and has a bunch of adventures. And okay, I don't want to give away too much of the plot, but you guys get the idea. You guys get the gist uh, of what this movie is. So, let's get into the review. I just want to first say... This movie is so visually, it is, the Rotten Tomatoes, I don't agree with Rotten Tomatoes all the time, but the first part of it, I agree, it is visually dazzling. It is visually striking. I mean, the fact that they stick with the same design from the 1940 Pinocchio is still great. Uh, the fact that the animals look amazing, specifically Keegan-Michael Key's Honest John, that looks absolutely magnificent. It, it, it's it's really it, it's really something to see Keegan Michael Key. Well, maybe not him, but at least his voice, voice, uh, a walking, talking fox. It that's probably the coolest part of this incredible movie. Um, I thought the new songs were very catchy, specifically Pinocchio, Pinocchio. Uh, I thought that. The Coachman song, uh, played by Luke Evans, was actually very, very catchy. Catchy. The Coachman to Pleasure Island. I thought that was nicely well, nicely written by Alan Silvestri. And if you don't know, Alan Silvestri and r director Robert Zemeckis have been a team for a very, very long time. I guess since the beginning. Uh, it, it was really just a breath of fresh air to watch this movie, uh, despite. Uh, what the critical reception was despite what other people have said about this movie this was a movie that i could really sink my teeth into this was a movie that i really did enjoy i mean the voice cast was amazing the performances were great i really don't understand the hate behind it uh and in all honesty i do think it's one of the more nostalgic and better live action Disney remakes. I really don't hate the remakes. Now, they do need some work, but I don't hate them. Um, and when it, when it comes to uh, Pinocchio himself, uh, I, I really think, that it, again, the cast was absolutely amazing. And Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Jiminy Cricket, he was really good. He was really, really good. I really enjoy the visual effects, the scenery, the landscape. Uh, I think Robert Zemeckis did some great uh, behind-the-scenes camera work. Uh, you can you can really see 
that I, I, I feel like he was really made to direct this. I, and I feel again, I feel like that he Disney picked him up and picked him of the directors to direct it after they saw Welcome to Marwin, which was almost kind of like Pinocchio. If you just rewatch the film, uh, but yeah, no, th- this was a movie that I, it really did tug at the heartstrings. It really was incredible. I don't know why a lot of people hated it. They said it was soulless. They said it was unnecessary. I really don't agree with that. I, I really think this movie was something that it was a love letter to the 1940 movie i really don't think it was a slap to the face of to it i think it was just a love letter to it it really was nice it really was well crafted um honestly that it's not it's not without fault admittedly it was slightly uneven at times um there were times when it was a little too cartoony with honest john getting hit over the head with a mallet and then his tail making a little boing sound i wasn't really expecting that kind of uneven but you you know i guess i guess that was the director's way of trying to be funny but i guess you know for kids it was pretty funny um it this I, I, but other than that, I really couldn't find that much wrong with this movie. Now, I'm not saying that this movie was as great as the 1940 movie. I'm not saying that. But it's still able to stand on its own two legs. It still has enough It has enough heart. It has enough muster. And I'm really getting tired, sick and tired. I'm really sick and tired of people saying that Disney remakes don't have heart. They don't have soul. Uh... I watched this movie. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. it. It's a good family outing. It's really something that I could... I mean, it's one of those movies that it may not get great critical reception when it was first released. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it won't get better as time goes on. Because I, I there are movies that did not that they were not great when they came out like the wizard of oz but they didn't gain traction until 20 years later until they were put on tv now admittedly we're kind of past the point of tv and now we're into streaming but y- you kind of get the idea this, this I, I i still enjoyed this movie i i really i really thought it was just you know like silly fun for kids you don't have to make it so per it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be monumental it doesn't have to be uh, like people need to stop thinking oh this is just an insult to the 1940 classic no no it's it's a movie that's just a love letter to the 1940 classic and people need to appreciate that and honestly people are going to think that i'm shilling for disney that's not true because there are Disney movies that I do not like. And, you know, again, I told you, the the Marvels and Wish were a few of them. So you can't tell me that I'm shilling for Disney. But in any case, that's all I got to say for this this specific film. Uh, Tell me what you guys think in the comments. 